It's really great that you're watching this video today because I'll tell you why. First of all, quite a few things about tax have changed. Even the CAPS document has changed, or, or, or there are things in the CAPS document that have changed, and some textbooks don't have the accurate information. So I'm hoping that you're going to learn a lot today with the different terminology that I'm going to explain to you today. Also, if you can't understand terminology, then it, you can't answer questions. So you need to have a good master of the um, terminology and know what each word means when you're answering questions. Okay, let's go. Why do we pay tax? Let's just first of all think about that. Why do we have to pay tax? It's so that the government has got some money from the people that are earning money to, to build roads, to make clinics, to um, build schools and to maintain an infrastructure in our country. That's why we have to pay tax. And the more you earn, the more you have to pay. Now, if we look at the, over here on the screen, I think you're all familiar with um, a tax table or have seen it or will be seeing it soon if you haven't seen it yet. A tax table tells you two things and there are two terms that you need to know relating to a tax table. The one is that you have at, at the bottom here you can see a tax bracket. Now let's look what a tax bracket is. It's a range of incomes subject to a certain income tax rate. So you can see each arrow there is pointing to a different line and each line there is a tax bracket. So depending on what you earn with, um, you will fall into one of those tax brackets. And on the right hand side, the right hand column says rate of tax. So that is the rate at which tax is payable. And at the first bracket at the top, you'll see you only have to pay 18% of your taxable income. Whereas at the bottom, if you're earning 701,301 Rand more, um, or more than that, then you have to pay an amount of 208. 1,587 plus all of that other money that's mentioned there in that little formula. So that is at, um, the rate of tax. Now, if you look over here, there are different um, acronyms or words that you need to know as well. P-A-Y-E, that stands for pay as you earn. So the more money that you earn, the more you have to pay. And what it actually means is that it's the process of deducting um, tax from an employee as they are paid. So the person who employs you is going to um, take your money every month before and give it to the tax to the tax man before um, you get paid your salary. Also, in some books they speak about site, um, the S I T E. It's no longer used, so if you see that in a textbook, you just ignore it, it's outdated. UIF is, it stands for Unemployment Insurance Fund. Now, it, 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 it's not tax deductible, so um, you can't deduct it uh, from tax, and in some books it might, might show that, and you must just also ignore that, because UIF is not a tax deduction. Please, that's one of the big changes that's um, taken place, you cannot deduct UIF from tax. Then if you look over here, you have gross income and net income. Those two terms, gross income is all the, your total salary before any deductions are, are made, before you pay your medical aid, before you pay your tax, before you pay your pension. That is your gross income. It can include your 13th check. And sometimes in questions they'll mention the 13th check. So then instead of 12 months, you'll work on a 13 month for the whole year. Then net income is your income after all your deductions. So um, it's, it's afterwards. So you, you pay your pension and you pay um, other amounts that you need to pay. And then whatever you've got left in your bank account, now you can go and get takeaways or you can go and buy some nice clothes or um, go on a holiday. That is, that, then you use your net income for that. Now taxable income. There's a bit of a difference here because after you've, um, you get your money, there's, there, there are certain deductions that happen and then there's an amount that is taxable. Now, if you look at the definition there, it says the income on which tax is calculated. For maths lit, your gross income um, minus your um, pension fund, that is your um, taxable income. And in my next video on tax, where I explain the tax table, you will see um, how that what order to do all of that in. So if you're stuck with that tax table and how to do calculations, watch my next video. Okay. Now just something important over here. 
rebates are only deducted after the taxable income has been calculated. A, a rebate, if you look at the um, definition at the bottom of that screen, you'll see there a rebate is an amount deducted after your tax um, uh, payable has been calculated. It's like, you must think of a rebate a bit like a discount. They work out what tax you must pay and then, oh boy, now I get a discount. That's very nice. It's called a rebate. Now, there are different rebates and here is an example of a part of a table that you could um, have um, where it's got primary rebate, secondary rebate. If you look over here, a person 65 years and older, then he gets a discount rebate of 7,407 plus the um, uh, um, 13,257 if he's using this t table. So everybody gets the primary rebate. But then if you're older, you get an additional 7,407. And if you're 75 years and over, you get 2,466 Rand extra as a discount. So you pay even less. But now remember these tables, you don't have to memorize them. They just, they vary and change from year to year. Every year in February, the, the tax tables get changed. And so you, you get always get given it in a question. You don't have to remember anything. There's something very, very important over here. MTC, which is medical tax credits, is also a rebate. And I'm going to, at the end of this video, talk about medical tax credits. And it's very important because it's a newish thing that's come in. And, and you need to make sure that you use it correctly. But it is also a rebate that you, um, so you, you deduct it after you've worked out how much tax you have to pay. Right now, over here, you'll see there's another table. It's a tax threshold table. Now, a threshold uh, is a limit or an amount that if you go over that amount, if your income is more than that, then you start paying tax. If your, um, if your income is less than that, you don't pay tax. So let's have a look here. It says persons with a gross annual income less than these amounts do not pay any income tax. There's just an official sort of kind of definition or explanation for you so that you can refer to it if you want to at on some stage. But again, here it is according to age. So if you are under um, 65, your tax threshold you'll see is lower than if you are for example, 75 and over, then your tax threshold is very high, 128,500. You can earn up to 128,500 before you have to start paying tax, which is awesome. Then you get two other types of taxes, direct taxes and indirect taxes. Now, direct taxes is a tax such as income tax that is levied on the income or the profits of the person who pays it. So your income tax is a direct tax, but then you get an indirect tax where if you go shopping, then you have to pay VAT on certain um, items. So that indirect taxes are taxi, taxes levied on transactions, for example, VAT, which is value added tax and it is charged when selling goods. So that is sort of uh, can vary from month to month, depending on how much you are buying, then you um, some of your um, goods will be um, taxed via VAT, and then that will go to the government. Now, this is the last and quite an important slide, taxable deductions. An example of a taxable deduction, so you get your salary, and then an example would be pension, and it must be deducted from income before tax is calculated. That is a very, very important thing to remember, that you, get your, you work out your salary, your annual salary, and then you subtract the pension. And only then do you use the tax table. Now, there's a little note there in brackets. Pension used to be a maximum of 7.5%, but now can be more for various reasons. I'm not going to explain that now. But And medical aid is no longer a deductible expense. All right, just keep that in mind. Then non-taxable deductions, and that's, for example, uh, car allowance. If, in, in, if it's in the question, you'll be given instructions on how to do the calculation. So you don't have to worry about how to work with non-taxable deductions. Now, this one, yeah, super important. And it's the last thing I'm going to tell you about. Medical tax credits. It's also known as MTCs. This is a rebate or a discount. Um, and you therefore deduct it 
after tax is calculated. You work out all your tax and then you, you'll be given a little table with MTCs um, listed there if for the first person, for the second person, um, and for the third and fourth, depending on how many dependents the main person has got. And here I've just said medical aid contributions are only an expense which you have to pay. Medical aid is different to medical tax credits, okay? Medical aid contributions, when you pay your different, we've all got different medical aids if we've got a medical aid, and we, that's only an expense which reduces your net income. So you have to pay it, but that goes to the medical aid, and then it makes your, the amount of money you've got to go and get takeaways and other things a little bit less, and it is no longer used in a tax calculation. You only use MTCs from the table that's given to you, because an MTC has made it that everybody pays the same or uh, gets the same rebate for um, medical aid and that's via the MTCs. Okay, now I really want to encourage you to watch my next video on the tax tables. I've got a very very nice way of explaining it to you that you can work and you'll see different steps and you'll really do it very well in um, calculations with the tax tables. So make sure you watch my next video on tax. Okay, cheers!